Marsha, thank you for joining us. You're so welcome. I'm glad to be here. Why don't you just start off by telling us what is Women's Economic Ventures? Well, Women's Economic Ventures is a nonprofit. We serve Santa Barbara, Ventura, and part of Kern County. And our mission is to create a more just and equitable society through the economic empowerment of women. Okay. Now, that's, a, that's a very <laughs> high-flying mission. But basically what we do in a nutshell is we help women start and expand small businesses. What is the history of Weave? Well, in 1991, we started up a small peer lending program based on the, the Grameen Bank model. You may have heard of that. Muhammad Yunus was the founder and received the Nobel Peace Prize in 2006. So we started the small program that provided small amounts of capital to women. But what we're hearing from our clients was that they really needed much more training um, and the small amounts of capital weren't enough. So we were we were providing loans of up to $1,500. And most people in develop, the developed world um, can get that amount of money from a credit card or savings or family members or whatever. Mm -hmm. So so what we did is we really started to develop the training side of what we did. And then in 1995, we created the Small Business Loan Fund, and that makes loans of up to $25,000 if you're a startup and up to $50,000 if you're an expanding business. And so you're the founder of Weave, and just tell our viewers what inspired you to launch this organization. Well, like many people who launch a business or a nonprofit, um, I had a need in my own life. Here I was, um, college graduate, grew up in a middle class family, um, and I had a really hard time um, uh, supporting myself. And I just thought, if it's this hard for me, how hard must it be for women who didn't have the same kind of privileges that I did? And um, I'd been involved in uh, in women's services already, working for the Santa Barbara Rape Crisis Center, and really saw that uh, women were more vulnerable to violence, both in their home and outside of their home, when they didn't have economic resources. So I really wanted to do something about that. So um, we started out, um, myself and the board of directors, uh, we did a feasibility study, looked at some different kinds of programs that were really economic development programs for women. And we settled on self-employment because we thought it really had um, the broadest and uh, most flexibility for women. How has the businesses, how have the businesses that you've helped, that we has assisted through either trainings or funding, impacted our local community? We walk down State Street and we've got mom and pop shops and I just want to know how you that's a, that's view a great, that. That's a great question because people don't understand the importance of small local businesses to their local economy. We uh, estimate that we have created or helped to grow between two and 3,000 businesses in wow. the last 20 years. Um, in one year, the clients that we serve generate almost a million and a half dollars in state and local tax revenues. That's more than our whole annual budget. Wow. Um, every business that we work with creates an average of um, one and a half jobs. In, again, in one year, our, the businesses that we serve retain, uh, they create and retain almost 500 jobs. So multiply by that, that by 20 and you have a really big local impact. And if someone is interested in supporting Weave, how would they go about doing that through either maybe making a donation or is there a, a chance to volunteer for the organization? Yes, actually, um, of course, donations are always welcome. Sixty percent of our of our funding comes from our local community, so that's very important from individuals, local government, foundations, corporations, all of those are really important to our funding base. But we also use uh, volunteer guest speakers, we use volunteer consultants mm. and mentors, um, volunteer board members, so there are many, many ways to, uh, to volunteer at Weave. Marsha, thank you so much for talking with us. Up next, we'll be talking with Leah, but I just wanted to take the time to say, job well done. Thank you for just adding to the, the color and the richness of our community. You're very welcome, thank you. Leah, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Can I have you start off by just telling us what are some of the programs that Women's Economic Ventures provides? Sure. Well, Weave's goal is really to ensure the success of our clients and business. So we have a, an array of services that we offer from everything for people um, looking to start or to grow their business. So our flagship program is our 14-week self-employment training course. And that is a course really to 
focus on learning how to write a business plan, okay. formalize your business, and go through all the steps of how to run a small business. Everything from, like I said, formalizing your business to doing the financials, the marketing, and most importantly, the feasibility analysis to determine whether your business will really be viable in the marketplace. And can you give me some examples of businesses in our community that belong to Weave? Sure. Or have been supported by Weave. Sure. We have a number of clients, as Marsha mentioned, about two or three thousand over the twenty years in, that we've been in existence. Um, one that started um, recently was Happy Little Hippo. They're a children's um, and maternity resale boutique on De La Vina, and that's Nicole Schultz, and she took our set class last year. We also have Say Cheese, uh, the lovely little cheese <laughs> shop on Santa Barbara Street. Yum. They received a loan from Weave a couple, of, a number of years ago, and we have. Any type of idea that you can think of, we probably have a client that has gone through one of our programs with that idea or that business. So everything from chiropractors to massage therapists to something in the green industry, in the energy industry, um, to and all types of business and service and home-based businesses. Well, I have to put in a little plug because while I was flipping through your new and very attractive outreach materials, I noticed that Joanna, the owner of the closet, is also um, been or has also been through some of yourself employment training classes and um, they are so nice to often provide outfits for me to wear on this show. Oh, so fabulous. Special nod great. to that <laughs> to that business. Well, why don't you explain to me how someone would go about signing up for one of the orientations or one of the trainings? Sure. So if someone's interested in either our self-employment training or our business plan intensive course, which is a, a faster paced, more accelerated version of the set class, um, first thing they should do is sign up for one of our free one hour orientations. Those will be offered throughout Santa Barbara and Ventura counties in January. Okay. The first step uh, to signing up is to go on our website, pick a date that works for you, and come and hear all about what we offer. What are some of the other areas that Weave helps with in terms of a business plan or just a business in general? Sure. So in the self-employment and business plan intensive courses, we do cover the feasibility of your business. So it's really important to look at who your target market is, um, where they shop, how much they'll pay, all those sorts of um, aspects of the feasibility of your business. So doing that research and making sure that um, you're setting your business up for success. Also thinking about formalizing and structuring your business appropriately, making sure that you have the right network of support, which will be gained from the class and from the contacts created in the class. Um, and of course, a marketing plan is also the other big, the biggie of the business plan. So we go through all those different steps of the business plan and clients will come out of the class with a written business plan to start wow. their business, to apply for a loan, and to keep using daily to help run their business. Tell me a little bit about the graduation that you have every year. What exactly is that and what businesses are recognized each year? So every client that graduates from our program will actually be recognized at the graduation <laughs> ceremony. We invite the clients in all the set, the set and BPI classes come together into one grand, inspirational, amazing event. We have one coming up in December, so they'll ha they happen in May and December. Um, and you really get to hear the types of businesses that come out of the class and see the difference in the confidence and pride that um, you know when you go to orientation I give them clients come in and they're a little bit unsure and at graduation you just see this 180 degree turn of confidence and pride in their business and that they're really going to go out and make an impact in the community and it's fabulous. How can people find out more and sign up for the upcoming self-employment training course? Sure. Well, the self-employment training course and business plan intensive courses are both offered twice a year, once in February and again in September. And those interested should go online and sign up for one of our free one-hour orientations that will be offered in the months preceding the classes. Well, thank you again, Leah, for talking with us today. Thank you for having us. You're watching Nonprofit Spotlight. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future nonprofit spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.